light on there, there's a space for chores. Oh, well, I mean, there's loads. Is there? Yeah. Hello, welcome to the Slippy Limits video. Bit of an unusual one. We've got a guest today, we've got David from Full Circle Angling down there. He's just wetting his line. And uh, we're out in the rocks, we've got the big rods and we're targeting, well, maybe a ray? Maybe dogfish? I don't know, just whatever's we're looking. Yeah, neither of us have fished here before. Uh, we've not fished at this time of year either, so really looking forward to it. We've just got down to the mark here. I'm gonna uh, get to up, get a bait in the water and hopefully get in amongst the fish. That's the first bait in the water. We've got a um, squid and frozen peeler on, on a pulley dongle rig with a 3 0 circle hook and a 7 ounce grip. The tide is absolutely honking here, so that's kind of why I'm using a 7 plus. The 7 helps us cast a little bit further as well, helps load the rod up. Um, so I'm going to leave this out, let it soak. Well, I get soaked and um, hopefully get in amongst the fish soon. So this bait's been in the water, I don't know, about half an hour, 40 minutes, and I keep getting a little knock. Dave just brought his in before because he cast out first and uh, he had a little bit of uh, gr uh, grassy weed on, so I'm suspecting of either had something nibbling on the, uh, on the dongle. <laughs> or uh, it's weed, so I'm going to bring this in and get a fresh bait on. Something's had a little bit of interest, but yeah, maybe you need a different fish bait on. But then David's bait came back absolutely stripped with fish, so I think the crab might be a good idea just to keep the bait intact a little longer. Yeah, yeah could be a shark. Here's a little trick that me mate Steve showed us. Slice your crab in half, move it out like that. It means that it's longer, covers off half of the bait. Like that. There we go, there's the next bait there. Squid crab, again, I've just, it's on the dongle, nice and tight, but I've just hooked the uh, squid through the top. I just thought I'd want a little bit of extra sort of protection to stop the, uh, the bait from sliding off the braid. I said holding bottom with a 7 ounce was easy, but uh, this cast has just gone oof, straight around, just crumbling along. I was actually contemplating putting a plane on just to cover some more ground, but looks like I don't need it at the minute. It's lush out here, there's not a breath of wind, but it's, we were just saying it's really, really difficult to kind of stay comfortable. It's raining, not raining, hot then cold. But Something that would warm us up though would be a fish. This bait's had a good half hour at least. Well, it started off there. The previous caster actually held bottom really well, but it, it hasn't come round like a full 45 degrees almost. Been here fishing for a couple of hours, hour and a half. And uh, we got here just at the bottom of the uh, ebb. Our platform is getting smaller and smaller now, so probably going to have to make a move in a little bit before we get pushed off here because it is a pretty big tide. Uh, so I'm going to wind this in and get a get another bait out. Um, try a few sand eels this time.
This was rock five minutes ago. That's the sound I'm waiting for. <laughs> We've uh, been pushed off our little perch and are now on a really nice big flat platform actually. Uh, it is roasting. Thought, well, we was expecting eight degrees, but I had to take my base layers off and even the long johns might come off soon. Um, it's been really quiet, as you might have seen. Uh, absolutely nothing really. A few nibbles early on, but nah, nothing going yet. Seen a seal. Uh, I thought that was going to be a good sign because he was here, or she. It would know that's where the fish are, but not even a nibble. So, going to give this five minutes and kind of kick back. in the water now it's about one o'clock uh, we've got another couple of hours yet of the flood uh, we're still hoping for that magic window when everything switches on uh, I've swapped over rigs I've gone from uh, the dongle pe uh, pulley that I was using it's <laughs> loads of honeybees around uh, dongle pu pulley that I was using to uh, an up and over with, <laughs> with two three O's on uh, as a panel and squid and crab because that's the only thing I've had a bite on so far so and I've also cast short um, and there's a lot of arms here have changed quite a bit and into the tide so I'm not out far I'm closer into the structure here um, maybe that might help who knows Ooh. Going. <laughs> Come on! Nah, it's not coming back. They never come back. I was hoping it would just pick it up and. Yeah, go and scream off. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> and it's, it'll be a crab dragging it along. <laughs> oh, that was the first knock in hours. That's why I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on! Dogfish whiting. Lobster, settle for anything. Dab. Dab, hi. <laughs> well, that's how the last bait came back. So that had one knock, and it looks like it's being crabbed. That's, that's the most squid that I've seen eaten yet. So quite positive, <laughs> I think. I think I mentioned I'd swapped over to an up and over rig. So I've got two uh, 3O um, Sea Glow Cantaros, I think they are. Just trying these out, see what they're like. Uh, very sharp, slightly different type of point to... I mean, you're never going to see it, but more of a slicing point, if that makes sense, rather than a... Uh... Oh, look, there's a heron. Um, piercing point. Not too good with worm baits, but seem to keep the point really well. And uh, with squid and crab, not a problem. Uh, I've got 50 pound amnesia, about six foot of it. Got a Gemini solo splashdown as my um, bait clip. Two beads, SRT spring, crimp, and um, a breakaway swivel there. And then this is 80 pound new um, main line up to um, I think this is Gemini or Brit 
could be breakaway on Gemini, I'm not sure. Pulley dropper. So I uh, hook your line over there and then when it hits the water it drops. And that means I've got a nice long snood. So I'm gonna get baited up and uh, catch a fish. The bait made tool, very handy. Found with these bait tools, this particular style, it's best not to whip too much or too hard because it can be a little tricky to slide off. So I tend to whip a little bit, get my panel, and then whip on some more. And there we go, a little messy bait. It's going to catch us official. on the money that cast right on top of the fish. Oh yeah, there's a bite. Yeah. Get a bite. Oh, come on, I just want this drag reel to start uh, screaming out. Two in a row as well. The first time is like do 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 do. Pick the bait up and run. Go on, you can do it. Must be a minute fish. Just keeps hammer tapping away. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Got a flapper rig with uh, one O's. I might pull that on just out of desperation. Well, we've tried. <laughs> That's all we can do. Um, it's We've tried all baits that we've got, we've tried different rigs, we've cast into different areas, we've waited for the flood, we've fished the ebb, no, other way around, we've fished the flood, the, no, no, the yes, flood, yeah, aye. there was, I was right, I, um, and we've had really nice weather, mm -hmm. does look like behind us that it's not going to be like that for much, very much longer, and um, I don't think we can do much more, so, we are going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. We've got the rods out still. Hopefully, <laughs> just kind of like, just just come on, just a bite while we're packed up. Your... But yeah, apart from those little rattles I had at the end, that was pretty much it. So um, go and check out David's channel, see how he got on. He caught loads of fish. Loads. Uh, full circle angling if you haven't seen it. And um, Thanks very much for, for coming along. Yeah, no, thanks. Good to be on the channel. I've enjoyed it. Um, we couldn't produce any fish, but... It's March. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to use that excuse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's been a good day still. Seen some wildlife, a heron, a seal, a little guillemot there. Saw some deer as well. Oh, deer, yeah. hares. Uh, we've walked knee deep in cow shit. Mm, it's been a novelty. We've got that to look forward to on the way back as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's been a really you know, fruitful <laughs> day. Yeah, just, yeah. It's been varied, hasn't it? <laughs> varied. Yeah. Uh, we're just clutching at anything, as you can tell. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, tight lines. Cheers. <laughs> uh, Dave, David just, do you prefer Dave or David? Either, Dave's fine. Dave just brought, I'll save a syllable. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you recording now? I am, um, yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going for here? Crab and um, squid again. Yeah, that looks pretty tasty, that to be fair. I'd eat it. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Uh, going for sand eel and squid. Mm -hmm. Is that on the dongle again? Or? On the dongle, uh, I haven't got another rig tied. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I'm getting videoed. <laughs> I haven't got another rig tied. <laughs> What's that? Bit of rubbish. Oh, it's out of a squid. Oh, oh it's a shit, sorry. I thought it was a bit of plastic or something. Oh, it might be. That oh, doesn't matter. Until they put me pint up to £6.05. What? Hi. <laughs> the hell are you drinking? Champagne. 
<laughs> uh, dongle pe uh, pulley that I was using. It's loads of honeybees around. A uh, dongle pu pulley that I was using to uh, an up and over with two three o uh, a, a panel hook. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> One way, <laughs> the other way, then are we? Probably used all of the luck with the weather and not, uh, not actually catching fish.